Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeer's tutorial. On today's episode, we are going to be doing a second tutorial on programming. Today's episode, we're going to show how to use the devices, how to load some stuff into our registers, and in the end, we're going to be building a device that reads the external temperature and displays it on an LED. This is a very basic tutorial, but it's going to show you really the groundwork for using the circuits and the groundwork for the programming. One thing that I have to say is that I am absolutely not a professional programmer. So definitely take everything you see in this video as one way to do things. It may not be the most efficient, but it definitely gets a job done. <laughs> Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need is the integrated circuit and also the integrated circuit housing. I have showed a tutorial on setting everything up. We also have a computer here. This computer contains a motherboard IC editor. And for our circuit, we're going to have another IC housing. We're going to have a LED small and we're going to have a gas sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this IC in this IC housing. Uh, these two circuits are very close to each other, but this is just to show you that you can program it in one IC housing. You can take the IC out, you can place it in the uh, housing uh, far away, it doesn't have to be connected in the same network, and it'll still work. So this is really just for display purposes. Whenever I'm programming, I like to have my uh, a circuit housing uh, right next to my computer so then I can just program it, do some testing, and then I can take it over to where I'm actually going to be using it. So for the actual programming, now that we have our IC in there, we can click edit and we're going to have a empty screen here. Now you can see that I have a bunch of uh, projects here. Uh, you can save things to the library. So I'm going to close out of that. But we're just going to show you how to program this uh, temperature display. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, take our physical devices and kind of load them in here. So the way we do that is we just call them aliases. So we're going to say alias. And the first thing that we're going to grab is our gas sensor. So you can name this whatever you want, but generally I like naming it pretty much what it is. So I don't forget. So gas sensor. And this is going to show up on our IC when we go to use our uh, screwdriver with it. So it's good to have something that you're going to remember. So there are six devices uh, on our IC here. So you can see their names here, D0 through D5. So you're just going to want to name them. Uh, the same way. So, of course, that didn't save. So, we're going to say alias. And so it's going to be gas sensor. And we're going to set this to D0. Like I said, you can set this to any of the devices, but D0 is going to be our first one. So, that's what we're going to use. So, that's allowing us to hook up the gas sensor to that D0. Secondly, we're going to use alias and this one is going to be our LED display. So I'm just going to call this display if I can spell correctly and we're going to set this to D1. So now we have the set. We can actually export this and you can see over here uh, that D0 is now IC housing gas sensor. So that is exactly what we called it here and two is going to be display. So that's working. So the next thing that we want to add on here is we're going to want to display our temperature. And the best way to do this is to set some registers. So this is kind of like memory. So you're able to set certain numbers to these registers. So I know that the gas sensor is going to read uh, in Kelvin. So alias, just like we did for our devices, we can set our registers the same way. And this is going to be temp K. So that's going to be our temperature Kelvin. And just like our devices that are actual physical things, our registers, which are more so virtual, uh, we're going to set 
R to zero. So our register zero is going to be Kelvin, our temperature Kelvin. Alias. And we're going to want to convert this to Celsius because uh, our suit displays in Celsius. And it gives us an opportunity to do a little bit of math. So this will be temperature Celsius. And just like we did before, we want to set this to R1. OK, so now we've set these registers, but they don't have a value. And we don't want to set a value to them yet until we grab the temperature from our gas sensor. So how do we get that? We type in a lowercase l. So that means load. And the first thing you type generally is what you're loading it to. So we want to load to temperature Kelvin. OK, what device do we want to use to load that? And these are all shown, uh, let's just see here, in our functions. Here we go. So there's a bunch of these. Uh, I'm sure we can find, yeah, let's just show this just so then you guys know how to use it as a reference because that's what I have to do. So we'll find load here. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to load a register. So we set our register here to temp k. So that's doing the exact same thing. Now we want to set, find a device. So what device do we want to get the temperature from? That's our gas sensor. Okay, and now we have to find a variable. So our slot variables are over here. And I know that we want temperature. So we're going to grab temperature. And uh, capitalization is uh, very crucial. Uh, anything capitalized wrong will lead you to have problems. So now, that's great. So now our register zero, our temp Kelvin, is going to be set to the gas sensor's temperature. So that's great. That's going to show us the Kelvin temperature. But we want to show our temperature in Celsius. So what we can do, we can look over here. Let's see if we can find it. There, there's a lot of stuff to look through here. And I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what we want. So I know that the conversion from Kelvin to Celsius is very simple. So we're just going to use uh, this subtract here. So this is, we're going to subtract A from B, and it's going to give us this new value. So we're going to subtract. And we know we want the new value that we're going to create out of this to be our temperature Celsius. So how do we get our temperature Celsius? Well, we have to take A from B. So we want to take temperature Kelvin and the conversion uh, from Kelvin to Celsius is 272.15. So there we go. So now we're going to subtract, and you can of skip over the first one. You're going to subtract temperature in Kelvin from 272.15, and that's going to give you temperature in Celsius. So there we go. That's going to give us a nice temperature in Celsius. The problem is uh, the gas sensor can give you a lot of decimal places. And for this, we want our image our display to really show us just the temperature rounded to the nearest whole number. So in order to do that, it's super easy. We're just going to round. And you can use these uh, registers uh, several times in the same equation. So what it's going to do is it's going to take our number with decimal places and it's going to give us a number without decimal places. So what's going to happen is we we're just going to reset temperature C from the rounded temperature C. So it's going to round this temperature C with the decimal places, and it's going to give us a whole number, and it's just going to overwrite that number. So there we go. So now we want now, so like I said, so we grabbed our all of our sensors. 
we uh, grab the temperature, we change the temperature to from Kelvin to Celsius, we rounded it so it's a whole number. So the only thing left to do is to set our display to the temperature. So in order to do that, just like we did load before, we're gonna set. So what are we going to set? We are gonna set our display like we named before. So we're gonna set this up here. So display. And what do we wanna set it to? So unlike the load where we put uh, the device and then the uh, variable, we do the variable and then the uh, and then the uh, uh, number that we want to set to it. So it's a little bit backwards. So we're going to set display and I know that in order to display a number on our LED sign it's going to be setting. And sometimes you just have to play around with these to figure out exactly which slot variable that you want to use. So we're going to set our display to the setting and that's going to be temperature Celsius. Okay, so now we've set our display to the temperature Celsius, but let's see what happens when we run this. So whenever these programs run, it runs from top to bottom. So it's going to set all of our devices, it's going to set our registers, it's going to set our temperature uh, to temperature Kelvin, we're going to do some math, we're going to get our temperature in Celsius. We're going to round our temperature, then it's going to display it, and then it's not going to do anything. So we need to get this to jump back up to the top. One thing, when you're programming, just so it doesn't run into any problems trying to run too fast, we're going to do yield. So we can actually scroll down over here. It pauses the execution for one tick. So that just gives the computer a little bit of time to think about what it's doing and not accidentally get overloaded for any reason. So, so all you have to type is yield, but still we're not jumping back up to the top. So let's jump back up to the top and the way you do that is using J. And when I'm looking at this, we can jump to the top, it's not gonna cause us any problems, but the only time we're really executing anything new, because these are always gonna stay the same, we don't need to reset these. So the only time it starts to do some stuff is really line four. So we can jump, and this is going to jump us to line four. So now it's going to restart at line four. It's going to give us our all of our stuff. It's going to wait for a tick, and then it's going to jump back. So this will continually just circle and circle and circle in here and continually give us that temperature. So now we can confirm this because this is our uh, completed program, and we can export it. So. We have two IC housings. I just know which one is which. So this one is going to be uh, this housing here. Um, you can also use a labeler to change these. But most likely, if you're doing this, they're not going to be on the same network. So now we can export this. And then we can take a look over here. And it's not giving us any error. So that's good. So we can, oh, did I, let's just see. Uh, that might have been the wrong one. So we're going to export. Then we can grab this. Okay, now it's given us an error because we haven't set these devices yet. You can also grab it and you can see there's 340 bytes of information on here. So that's showing us that we did export this program from the computer into this IC. So now we can grab this and now that we've used our programming housing there, which is the same as this one up here, but it's right next to the computer, so it's nice and convenient. We can bring it over to wherever we need to use this, and we can place this in our housing. There we go. Now it's still flashing an error. That's because we haven't actually set our devices up like we need to. So we should be able to come in here, and we should look. Okay, so gas sensor. So let's change this to, okay. So gas sensor is now changed to gas sensor. Uh, now we want to set our display to our display LED small. And you can see as I did that, and as I close out of these windows, you can see that the current temperature is being displayed in Celsius. Now you're just going to get a number. You can't get any uh, strings or any letters in here. So now it's 52. 
and you can see on the top uh, right of our screen here it's showing 50 50 so it is actually reading the current temperature and it is updating very regularly so that's it that's showing you the very basics so what we're doing is just grabbing our temperature here we're doing a little bit of math and then we're setting it out to this display now this would be very easy to do with some of the other logic uh, systems where like the logic input output the logic math but it keeps it very small and uses less power and we're only using two of the devices we have four more devices and we can do significantly more math and other things inside of here so like I said this is just a very beginning uh, tutorial on how to do this hopefully you guys like this video if you did, please go ahead and leave a like below. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below as well. Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.